My name is Gingo Kudaida, and you might know me as that guy who just got eliminated from YouTube Idol. Um, wait, that sounds weird. Hi, my name is Ginga, and somebody is riding a motorcycle. <laughs> Hi, hola, konnichiwa. I really don't know how to make these. Okay, after that weird and long introduction, hello, I am Gingo Kudaida, once more. Um, I am from Bolivia, originally, but I came to the US and now I live in the Sunshine State. So let's get started. What are your feelings towards being eliminated? No, sorry. Um, honestly, in my honest opinion, I don't think I should have been eliminated this round because I honestly believe I gave one of the most dynamic performances and it was overlooked. I don't know, that's just one opinion versus four, but what do I know? But you know, just like my homeboy Hamilton. Well, I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. My name is Kinga Okudaira and like Lynn manuel Miranda, I am not throwing away my shot. Yeah, you already threw away your shot. <laughs> Are you gonna finish that? No, get your own yogurt. <laughs> Loser. Why? Yeah, that was weird. Um, don't really know where that came from. Uh, I've just been watching way too much SNL lately and Lin-Manuel Miranda. You're really cool. Uh, <laughs> but yes, um, honestly, I believe I am somebody who works really hard on all of their performances and I go above and beyond expectations um, of what this competition's norm usually is. I don't know, I just have so many mixed feelings about that, to be very honest. And at the very beginning, the judges said they wanted somebody who was versatile, which I tried to do, somebody who is very hardworking, which I also tried to do by going above and beyond expectations, but you know, life happens. I don't regret going above and beyond for everybody because at the end of the day, I made some people smile and that makes me happy. Are you satisfied with your own efforts and accomplishments in the competition? I'm one of those people that has the worst self-esteem in the entire world and if you tell me that I did anything good, I probably will deny it forever <laughs> and I nitpick at every single aspect of everything I do. So it's, it's really hard for me to admit that I do anything right, uh, but if I did do anything right, it is that I was entertaining as well as I demonstrated what I could do vocally. I am proud that I gave it my all and even though I wanted to give up like three times, I kept going. Pat on the back. What do you think about the other contestants? They scare me. <laughs> They're so good at what they do that they scare me. That's why I wanted to quit like three times. But um, two of those people wouldn't let me. I want to name Kevin Jude uh, for being there for me. Thank you so much, like just seeing your comments in the comment section just really fueled my fire to keep going and give even more dynamics in the next round. So thank you so much for supporting me. That means a lot because like I said, I'm really down on myself every day. So hearing anybody say anything good to me is like Christmas. And I want to mention Sion and Kiva specifically because they were my Showtime brothers in the group rounds. They really helped me so much during the competition. Even though we were competing against each other, I was just like, what? <laughs> I, I have no words. I'm speechless. I really am. Kiva just knows his technicalities and Sion is just... He's like my brother now, <laughs> especially to Sion. I want to say thank you so much because without you, I probably wouldn't have gotten as far as I did. 
really you have a way with words and that's a gift and even when I was at my darkest point you just brought me back up and you have no idea how valuable that is um, when people are struggling and I know you struggle too and that's why I relate to you the most so I don't know I feel like I'm gonna cry but thank you Sion uh, for being there for me. You are my soul brother now. What do I think about the judges? Well, Petri is sassy, fiery, he's really good at giving tips, and he said that I made him happy whenever I sing, and that just fills me with joy. Petri is a great host. He works hard on his videos, and I love meeting people from other cultures, so bonus points I get to learn about Sweden, and uh, Ash, I think you're really adorable. Uh, you gave me so many great critiques as well and I was actually very shy to talk in the chat because I didn't know how to speak to senpai so thank you senpai uh, Kanyu I wish I got to talk to you uh, that rhymed unintentionally you were awesome and I was trying really hard to impress you I don't know if I did um, but yeah judges you're cool I was very confused sometimes because I didn't know if you liked my voice or not, but, you know, and that made me go in different directions with my next songs, and I didn't know if it worked, but, you know, I tried my best to be a good contestant. <laughs> yeah. What was the most difficult thing about the competition and why? Not giving up. Because, like I said, people scare me. They're too talented. Talent is scary. I get so intimidated. Easily. Very easily. What was your favorite theme episode and why? I really liked Kings and Queens because Don't Stop Me Now was one of the best things I've done, I think. And it really made me happy that I impressed with that one. But I do want to say I really loved doing Backstreet Boys with Sion and Kiba because I love boy bands and girl bands that maybe has something to do with it. Least favorite? I don't know. I feel that I was really depressed when I was doing... Um, the sad songs and I got so into it that I made myself sad <laughs> again but I really think uplifting was the most frustrating one not just because I got eliminated but because when I was picking Ricky Martin it was like 2 a.m. and I was at wit's end and then just I decided to type in Maria for some reason because I remembered it from a childhood and I just started dancing at 2 a.m. So I didn't know what wasn't uplifting about that. If you're feeling so down and you are so lost and all of a sudden this nice bright dancing song makes you feel like you're on top of the world, I don't know what the meaning of uplifting is. So now I'm confused on what uplifting is because one of the judges said it wasn't a good choice and I'm like, it made me dance at 2 a.m. So now I don't know how to be happy. The worst thing about the competition was, besides getting eliminated, I think the worst part was, for me, getting confused on my critiques because I listened to everything and I absorbed like a sponge, like you said. I, that's why I was eating yogurt earlier. I think it was just really hard for me to just go forth and do what I know I'm good at instead of letting a lot of things influence me. To maybe make the wrong choices. The best thing about the competition though was getting to meet all of the top 12 and everybody else. These connections are gonna stick with me forever now. Especially, like I said, I don't know, I'm very attached to Showtime because they really did help me every single round. Just meeting them. Honestly, everybody in the chat. Like, everybody was really kind to me. So, just meeting new friends that can sing is like the lottery because now we can all sing together. Constructive feedback. Well, I'm not in the judges pick anymore, but I did notice that they mentioned that maybe in, for the future, just make sure that instrumentals exist for songs for judges choices. That's about it. I really can't think of anything else. Everything else was pretty okay. Am I taking anything of value uh, from competing in this? Yes, I am taking this as a learning lesson. And I am going to try to be
become even better than I am now and try to challenge myself with more different genres. Uh, I'm still gonna do the genres I know I'm good at, but I'm gonna try to expand a little bit. Anything I want to add? Well, <laughs> yes. Um, I want to especially thank my friends Crystal, Panda, and Kimmy for being there for me in the competition. You guys helped film my music videos. I've never done that before. And without you guys, I don't, I don't know what I would have done. You guys have been there for me, and you watched the episodes with me. Um, and Tyrus, thank you so much for giving me that emotional support as well. And I'm sorry if during those music videos, uh, Panda and Crystal especially, if I was weird. <laughs> I just try to make everything fun. And I think that's one of my goals. I really want to make people happy through my music and everything else I do. So I hope you guys had fun with me and I hope we can do more of that. Thank you, everybody. I'm just so grateful. And now, social medias! If you want to follow this loser, you can follow me in these social medias. Yes, I am on YouTube. I do have a singing channel, but I also do a lot of other things there too. I started a web show called Galaxy Panda, links and stuff. We interview voice actors and a bunch of other cool people, and we do skits, we do reviews. It's really cool, you should check it out. Um, I'm also in Abridger. I'm in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Exile Abridge. I'm the creator of that. Um, so I do a lot of online voice acting, you know, silly, crazy voices, you know, like this, or like this, or like this. So, like, yeah, I do all of that stuff, too. Um, yeah, that's probably why this video is kind of half funny, because it shows off my abridging personality. And yes, I just want to say congratulations to everybody who got through. I hope that you give it your all, and I look forward to seeing the end results, and best of luck to everybody. You guys are definitely forces to be reckoned with. Thank you so much for sharing your voices with the world, and thank you to Petri and the judges for putting all this together. If you guys want to see me in the All-Stars season, which is next season, then leave a comment and if I feel like I can get back up from the ashes, I will join and hopefully I will not disappoint. Progress. Thank you to all of my supporters. Thank you judges. Thank you to the contestants. You guys are wonderful and I will see you guys whenever is the next time. All right. Bye! Yeah, yeah, we still suck. <laughs>